I am here to present a paper and that is quite related to peace process and uh, divide of the Maoist party in Nepal. Uh, it is in a way peace audit plus uh, kind of alarming situation and uh, because uh, if you go through this uh, Nepal's peace process and uh, the, the status uh, of it today, we find kind of uh, interlink between peace process and this Maoist divide. It is because initially uh, Maoists were together, it was uh, under the name of C uh, United Communist Party of Nepal Maoist, uh, till the day when the government, the then Baburam Bhattrai government, decided to opt or go for the Nepal army model to integrate this Maoist combatant into Nepal army. And uh, till the day, uh, the, the, the Maoist leaders were in a way double speak, uh, double speak manner. Leadership was talking to their cadre saying that we are not going to integrate this thing uh, because uh, eventually we have to capture the state power and that is why money is needed, that is why we update this process so that we can we can we can we can bag uh, money so that we can we can we can uh, uh, this uh, import uh, weapons uh, in trucks so that so that we will be able to eventually capture the state but once that government which was led by fortunately unfortunately their own leader Baburam Bhattrai decided to go for a Nepal army's proposal to integrate Nepal, this, uh, their cadres into ne Nepal army, then then one of the sections who was uh, having kind of reservation in a modest way earlier, uh, become very very disappointed. Then then they started uh, meeting separately. They started uh, alienating their leaders. They started blaming Prachanda and Baburam as uh, ploy of this and that uh, forces, and eventually. Uh, once the Constitution Assembly was dissolved in May 2011, then 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 party eventually got split. It. So in a way, you can find a kind of connection. That is why it is more important to talk about this um, uh, integration and this Maoist uh, division, and it is kind of peace audit. Uh, and uh, while talking about this peace audit, just to relate that it is very unique and. Um, uh, uh, in a, a couple of manners. For example, uh, the peace talk, the background of the peace talk was 12 point agreement and it was interestingly not the agreement between one government and opposition. Two opposition parties were together to go for this um, uh, agreement and it was very interesting in all over the peace process in the world because uh, there should be at least part of uh, one. One should be generally it is government and uh, opposition, but but uh, we are having only oppositions come of this agreement, and eventually it got succeeded. And once it got succeeded, succeeded, then 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 uh, their ideology uh, become very prevalent. Uh, on the other hand, on the one hand, Maoist because that that agreement was not uh, kind of. Uh, um, bounding force for them because they were not uh, at that time in the government, neither they were in the opposition, they were in the jungle. That is why once they were, uh, they, they succeeded to remove this institution of monarchy, then again Maoist, one of the components of the, this 12 point, uh, started um, going uh, through the, their own ideological uh, this thing. Limitation and on the other one, uh, GP Koirala led uh, this all party mechanism, seven party mechanism. It also went uh, with uh, its own agenda. For example, uh, it was having whether uh, the dilemma whether to go for constitutional monarchy or to remove uh, monarchy and go for republican. On the issue of federalism, also they were having kind of uh, dilemma and. And, 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 and that is how it has become more important and eventually once uh, the SPA become part of the government and uh, that process, then then peace process started formally but again there was lack of transparency because only GP Koirala and Prachanda used to um, 
had tacit understanding without letting others know about what is happening. There was no institutionalized mechanism. There was no monitoring mechanism. That is why it is more important for Nepal, uh, Nepal's uh, this uh, to go for the, the peace audit in Nepal to intervene with the uh, with the peace process, uh, this integration of the Maoist army and the split of the Maoist party.